<sighs> the arrests of all three suspects, police say murdered a Louisville pawn shop owner during a robbery last month, brings some relief to his loved ones. Fox Sports Peyton Yeager talked with a relative about this latest news of a, a third arrest. Peyton? Stephen, according to police, all three suspects were staying here in Dallas. Louisville police working alongside Dallas police to track down these three suspects just days before the victim's funeral. We can begin to heal and uh, it will still take some time, but we are healing. Friday was the first step towards forgiveness for Misha Gonzalez. It's still maybe a little too early to say we forgive you, but uh, you know, we'll, we'll get there. All three suspects wanted in connection to her brother-in-law's murder are now in custody. Louisville pawn shop owner, 54-year-old Daniel White, was shot and killed during an attempted robbery on February 14th. For the last month, White's family waited for any updates. It's been a whirlwind. Uh, we have good days, we have bad days. Thursday, Gonzalez says, was a pivotal day. 19-year-old DeMonta Skinner, the last of the three suspects. God damn, that is Black Gen Z, man. Black Gen Z, you killed that man. I ain't seen you. Black Gen Z ain't been live the last couple of days, man. I need to kill somebody, man. God damn it, man. He in the wind. Yeah, man. They got him, man. They Turned got him. himself into police Thursday afternoon. Skinner's younger brother, 17-year-old Denarian Skinner, turned himself in on Tuesday. Brothers. Two brothers. That mom, that mom who shit these motherfuckers out. Shit, man. God, look what she unleashed on the planet, man. Day. Both surrendered after police announced they had warrants issued for their arrests earlier this week and believed the two were staying in South Dallas. 18-year-old Jatevon Johnson God was damn. taken into... Jatevon. <laughs> Jatevon. What the fuck kind of name is that? That sucks. That name sucks. That doesn't even sound good for a certain name. Jatevon. Got some ashy ass lips, bro. God damn. Should have called him Jatavion. Jatavion would have been a lot better, man. I, I like Jatavion better than Jatavon, man. Fuck. See, my man, my man just look, he, you know, he been through a lot, man. He just killed somebody, man. He been hiding out for a month. It's rough hiding. In out. South Dallas. 18-year-old Jatavon Johnson was taken into custody on February 25th in Dallas. The three teenagers now all face capital murder charges. As a mother of two young boys, I just can't even begin to imagine what those parents are going through. Because They don't even care what you're going through. Damn. Damn. <laughs> his mama don't give him. His mama probably thinking, like, the system caused my son to kill this guy. If it wasn't for the system, he wouldn't have had to go out here and do this type of stuff. Right. Now the racist criminal justice system going to give him a, a sentence that they wouldn't give a white kid. They gonna sit this right. all and they will kiss sit this a white kid. She thinking shit like that. This yeah, man, I, 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 she that everything you said along with uh, well, I told him to like him up. I tried yeah. getting him like that. Exactly. I tried. I told him. I I I I, I told his probation officer. I, mean, I told the social worker that you know he don't listen and he need he need to go away. Da, 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 da. Yeah, I mean like you white people, you blind as fuck. Retarded, man. Why, I don't know why you even give a fuck what she, what, the, what his mom was thinking about. She doesn't give a fuck about you. As a mother of two young boys, I just can't even begin to imagine what those parents are going through. I would be devastated. So uh, we definitely want to lift up the families to the three young men. On Valentine's oh, Day, God. Louisville police say the armed suspects dressed in hoods and dark clothing rushed into the pawn shop as White was opening for the day. One of the suspects opened fire and shot White in the chest. So they didn't even give him a chance to give up the money. They just rushed him as he was opening up the store and shot him dead. And she's lifting them up. <laughs> yeah. Like, I could see if they, if he, like, struggled or struck a gun with all, like, <laughs> god damn, man. Right. Or if he called him the sun word, you know? Yeah, the sun word or something like that. Like, god damn.
Yo, I believe believe it or not, I told my girl, if these motherfuckers ever kill me, you better not say some shit like that. Right, right, right. Even if they ask for it, even if in court they're like, I want to turn to the family and, 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 and I, please, please. Exactly. No, motherfucker, no. Fuck you. Right, like you, 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 yeah, you took me away from my kids. My kids don't have me no more, so fuck you. Right, and, and these motherfuckers, I want to know how much they got. Like, here's the thing. It doesn't matter how much they got, but what are you, a punch? They probably, I bet you, after they shot him, they probably panicked and ran out without getting anything. Oh, I guarantee. I fucking guarantee that. Jeez. Definitely want to lift up two young boys. I just can't even begin to imagine what those parents are going through because I would be devastated. So uh, we definitely want to lift up the families to the three young men. On Valentine's Day, Louisville police say the armed suspects dressed in hoods and dark clothing rushed into the pawn shop as White was opening for the day. One of the suspects opened fire and shot White in the chest. The three suspects took off in a Ford Escape. White died later at the hospital. Just like drop to your knees, pain. Pain, Gonzalez says, was felt through the community. Customers lined the Louisville pawn shop fence with flowers and stuffed animals. It's not going to be the same. It's definitely not going to be the same here. White devoted the majority of his life to his job at the pawn shop. He started working there when he was 16 and never stopped. White was also married to his high school sweetheart, Yolanda. Man, we're going to miss him forever. With all three suspects in jail, Gonzalez now says she's trying to picture future milestones like holidays and birthdays without the one who would always make everyone smile. And Daniel's always there. And he's always so much fun. We always have so much laughter. And uh, I don't know how those birthday dinners are going to be anymore without him sitting there with us. It's going to be a hard, hard thing to get used to. All three suspects are in the Denton County Jail this evening. White's in-laws now run the pawn shop. Again, his funeral is tomorrow morning. Steve, back to you. All right. Hey, um, I, I, had, uh, I looked in chat like a couple minutes ago and someone was saying to check out um, Scottsdale, Arizona. They had just built a uh, Section 8 over there. Something like Scott, that. Scottsdale, Arizona? Um. Email it to me. Um, send it to me. Yeah, let me see if what, I can what, find it for you. What's the channel over? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put it back to. What's the? I don't know the channel over in Scottsdale. I know they got um. Phoenix, um, but yeah, man. Salute to everybody. Make sure you take the five dollar challenge. Salute to transparency and merit. He says that white woman proves that white people can be forgiven, more forgiving than I would be. Yeah, man. I mean. Don't get me wrong, man. I'm not trying to clown people that forgive. All I'm saying is that I ain't with that shit. I ain't man. with that shit. Not for, don't forgive nobody. Do nothing for me. I'm not forgiving you. And, and I don't have to say nothing. Like, you don't have to say nothing. They don't even have to know that I don't forgive them. Because I don't have to say anything. Oh, I'm going to say something. No, but what I'm saying is, like, you could, the on the subject of forgiveness, you don't have to right. say anything about that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I agree. <laughs> they, they, I don't know why they feel like the need to say, I'm not, no. like, Right. Family and friends of a murdered husband and father are joining Arlington police in a renewed push for help in identifying and finding his killers. Hello again, everybody. I'm Heather Hayes. First here at 530, 36-year-old Ishmael Ali was killed in the early morning of February 14th. He was shot to death in the driveway of his Arlington home after returning home from work. Since then, police have been hard-pressed to find any evidence that can help identify the killers. Fox 4's Dan Anglin joins us now live with the very latest. Dion. Hi there, Heather. Well, it has been more than three weeks and investigators are looking, still looking for the suspects who they say are car thieves and burglars who resorted, at least one of them, to murder. The surveillance video we were, uh, we've been able to recover, unfortunately, does not provide a great look at the suspects' faces. Police 
and family. What does their gate tell you about them? I, that don't look like Sun Man gate. They don't look like Sun Man walking. I'm sorry, man. That don't look like a Sun Man walk. What do y'all think, chat? Repeat it, if you don't mind. Who resorted, at least one of them, to murder. The surveillance video we were, uh, we've been able to recover, unfortunately, does not provide a great look at the suspect's faces. Police and family. I think it could be Sun Man. That one right here is on brief, though. Sun Man walk with soul, man. We walked. <laughs> with flavor. Yeah, man. We don't, just, we, we don't walk like that, man. Our pants be sagging and shit. It just be. Uh, we've been able to recover, unfortunately, does not provide a great look at the suspect's faces. Police and. It's not enough moving in the arms. It just, it just, the walk is too straight for me. To be yeah, I think, I think I see what you mean. I think, I think I'm saying. Yeah, we were. Uh, we've been able to recover. Unfortunately, does not provide a great look at the suspect's faces. Police and. I don't know, man. I think there's some man, but I see what you're saying, though. I, I don't know. We, we, I got to, maybe we got some more footage, but um, it just, now, now the, the the way this happened because we covered it the guy pulled into his driveway and i think he startled them he was coming home and he pulled his driveway and they were out there stealing cars and like they saw him and they just shot him up they didn't even ask him any questions they just started shooting i mean so, that sounds very sunny yeah but also that could be i mean yeah that, that does sound sunny but I the just, surveillance video we were uh, we've been able to recover, unfortunately, does not provide a great look at the suspect's faces. Police and family renewing the plea for help to solve the murder of Ali Ismail. This could be your son. This could be your father. This could be your husband, a nephew, um, a relative of yours. The two suspects mentioned are seen here walking around, checking for unlocked vehicle doors. Shortly before, police say one of them opened fire killing Ismail, seen here with five of his six children. His widow is expecting their seventh child. As he pulls into his driveway, the suspect immediately began firing at him, striking him and killing him. Both suspects then ran from the neighborhood heading east on Prentice Street. We do not have any current video showing where they went after that. Ismail was returning from work around 5 a.m. the morning of Valentine's Day. That early morning that he came to home, he was planning to take his kids to school. It's really horrific. Um, you can imagine how the family is feeling, uh, the loss of the father, the breadwinner, uh, you know, a husband, and uh, he was everything to them. That morning, the weather was rainy hindering investigators' efforts to lift fingerprints from vehicles. They are pleading with the community for information or possible additional video from the area surrounding the 1400 block of Prentice Street. This looks like a cold case to me, man. This looks like it might be a cold case, man. I can't tell. Look at that skin. That's some really pale skin right there, man. That's not even like Sun Man light skin skin these motherfuckers look yeah. and to provide any additional information to the police yeah, look how short he is to that car like if that was me my head be up here and shit <laughs> okay yeah i see what you're saying I, you know what i'm convinced these aren't riddles Fuck it. information to the police department particularly during the times of 2 a.m and 6 a.m on february the 14th there is a ten thousand dollar reward offered in the case we're just pleading to the to the public and the community damn fucking savages man like, we got to get out of um <laughs> we gotta get out of dallas man <laughs> god damn dallas is dallas we don't have to come back to dallas man salute to dallas man dallas is, <laughs> what dallas. what what a, what a blanco say the border states are popping yeah, man. I mean, it's it's cracking down. there. salute to y'all, man. I mean, Dallas is Dallas is definitely something we're going to have to take a look at more deeper look at, man. Um, I wonder what the gun memorial for Dallas looks like. <laughs> um, we could go there, man. Let's hold on. Let me see something. And this morning, an Indianapolis a fast food order got done horribly wrong. 
we're gonna get to that in a second. Let me let me see the the gun memorial Dallas. Cause you know, God we you man, you you got me. Um eesh. Eesh. Why right, gun memorial Dallas yikes. Eesh. Um, well, that's our little buddy right here. Um, Damn. Damn. It's pretty, it's looking pretty, a little diverse, right? Yeah, I mean. I wonder who killed that, that glider, that old this, glider. Him? Yeah. Buster? Who killed Buster, man? Who killed Buster? Um, he's the co-founder of David Busters. Wow. What the fuck? Holy shit. Please tell me your son, man. Did you kill the co-founder of David Busters? Yo, yo based off <laughs> of his age, I'm going to say it was some, man. I like that restaurant. Very man. likely. I love this restaurant, man. Nah, son, man. You can't kill the... T- <laughs> nah. Uh-uh. Nah. Don't you like David Busters? Yeah, hell yeah. I love not David bad. Busters, man. It's like a fun family place. And he, yeah. he, brought, he brought so much joy into so many people's lives, man. That'd just be sad, man, if son man killed There's no way a son man killed him, man. Um, Let me see something. I didn't hear shit about this one either. You would think you would have heard about it. Police said they responded to a a report of a shooting at at a home in Dallas and that the man who was shot died at the hospital after suffering a self-inflicted gunshot wound. He killed himself. Thank God, man. Oh, God. (laughs) R.I.P. to you, man. Thank you for being that reference. Um, Let's see. A lot of sons on here, man. 